these Headley fans are unwavering in their support, even as the band's lead singer admits he objectified women. He has admitted to not treating women with the respect, but that doesn't mean that he's a rapist. It's not just him, though. It's the whole entire band. So we're not just here for one person. It's here for the entire band. In his statement, Jacob Hogard says, I have never engaged in non-consensual sexual behavior in my life, ever. But the way I've treated women was reckless and dismissive of their feelings. I think he's only sorry because he got caught. Not good enough for the 24-year-old Ottawa woman who alleges Hogard forced her to have anal sex. She says he slapped and spat on her and called her a dirty little pig. There is not a single woman in the world that I know that would consent to being degraded. And that's what he did to me. He degraded me. I think he needs a lesson on consent, actually. <laughs> Falling a thousand feet per second. The band has fallen from grace after sexual misconduct allegations by mostly anonymous women surfaced on social media. Headley says they will go on indefinite hiatus after three more weeks of touring. This music journalist says that decision is about money. I think if there was a mass exodus of fans, they would probably decide why are we performing. Um, they've said they're doing it for their fans and if those fans continue to show up, and I guess there are showing up with signs saying I stand with Headley. I feel sorry for them because they thought that this man was someone who he's not. Um, I think that people need to choose better idols. Jacob Hogarth says when the tour ends, he will seek guidance from his family and the women in his life. His accuser hopes he'll seek therapy. Judy Trin, CBC News, Ottawa. Headley is scheduled to play 15 more concerts this month before wrapping up its tour. The last show will be March 23rd in Kelowna.